We can't wait for the kickoff of the EFL season in just two and a half uh, weeks' time on Talksport. Blackburn Rovers take on Derby on Friday, the 9th of August. And a week later, the Premier League returns as can't Manchester wait. United host Fulham. Unbelievable, isn't it? How quick is it come round, by the way? I can't wait. Honestly. What's good, though, is has got the Olympics. Yeah. And so there's just no stop. No stop. There's, Unbelievable. There's no stop at, at all. Uh, now, though, we are talking about Aston Villa, whose pre-season is in full swing, thanks to back-to-back wings uh, against Walsall and Spartak Tavana uh, in the last week. Uh, Villa will be playing in the Champions League for the first time ever this season after finishing fourth in the league uh, last time out. Um, nervous? Excited about Villa in the Champions League? Excited. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. Excited for the fans. You know, these fans have waited so many years to see this, Addy. Yeah. To to be able to go some, to some of these stadiums. I mean, I was so jealous of Newcastle fans mm. last season. Oh, you're, like going to, you're going to Dortmund, yeah, Dortmund Milan. Milan. You're going to these stadiums. Anton Villa can go to the San Siro. You know, go to um, the Bernabeu even. You know, just these stadiums, it's excitement. You and know you've what got I mean? a it's European manager as exactly, well. Exactly, and yeah. people say, oh, what if you get, like, really bad results? Like, we're not looking like that. We're looking at enjoying whatever happens. There's so much faith in his manager. You know, whatever players Uni Emery brings in, the fan base is behind him because of the wonders that he's done with the squad of players that he's got. And he will go into this Champions League, man. He won't sit back. He mm. won't change the way we play. We're still going to play that high line. That's why he's tried to bring in... Matson at left back, more pace, quicker than Digne and Marino. So he's brought in Anana as well, who's going to help in that midfield as well. Yeah, Do you know I mean? you've got you've got Champions League experience there as well. So I'm looking forward to it, mate. Is there look the back end of last season? The, the wheels came off a little bit. Obviously, of you course. still you still got Champions League yep. football, so I think that's what we need to highlight. But there was that balance act of European football and the Premier League, and you 100%. didn't have enough of squad depth to almost do both, did you? No, and. Every team talked about injuries last season. First game of the season, Tyrone Mings. Big one. Bad, bad knee injury. Still not recovered. Midway through the season, Kamara. Bad knee injury. I think ACL as well. Mm. Also, Brendia, start of the season. You forget that. ACL as well. Three players that you'd say would be starters in that team, they was. So, yes, we had injury problems as well with Ramsey as well getting injured. And... Um, Coutinho went out, didn't he? Then Donker wasn't working as well. So you look at the squad of players that he managed to get so many good performances out of week in, week out. Thin squad of players playing most of the games. I thought it was a miracle to get top four. Now he's sold a few players. He's brought in some really quality replacements as well. I'm excited, mate. Yes, it's going to be tough. Could it affect us in our league um, position next season? Yes, it could. Who cares? Yeah, just we, enjoy we were it. in Champions League football at Villa Park. Mm. Under the lights, I laughed about it in the last season. You know, Mbappe, Vinicius Junior. Do you know what I mean? I'll be in the Malmais on Hotel Birmingham. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll be outside <laughs> waiting for an autograph of uh, Mbappe. Do you know what I mean? No, like, yeah, no, how no, good is it for the right. city, mate? No, you're right. Unbelievable. You're right. I mean, it, it, especially when you, you think about where you were under Steven Gerrard. If someone wants to tell you 18 months later you're going to be playing Champions League football, no one would have believed you. 100%. No and, you. And, and he won't change the way we play, mate. I, I know this manager from the first day he come in. Do you remember the first game of the season against Newcastle? We got absolutely battered. But he what played did, well. What, yeah, but what did Alex Ferguson say? He said it, didn't he? He exactly. said he played well. I remember he said, that, yeah. He got asked which team has stood out to you. He said Aston Villa. Mm. So, so I'm really excited for this season. I'm excited with the new players. Um, uh, I, I before can't you, wait before to... you talk about the new players, yeah. let's talk about a couple of the players that have gone. Obviously, Douglas Louise is, is a big one because yes. he was very good in that midfield Diaby maybe not as important, but he's still no. got your goals. But Douglas Louise first. You've had to get rid of him because of FFP. Yep. He's gone. How big a blow? How big a hole Massive is that? blow. Mm. Massive blow. Because the, what Douglas Louise done, he could play deeper, get get on the ball, start off the attacks, or he could play further forward yeah. and get into the box and score goals like he did last season. He had everything yeah. as a midfielder. Bit of arrogance about Yeah, him a bit of well. arrogance. He had that Brazilian flair. He could get on the ball and pick out passes, set pieces as well. It's going to be a big, big loss. And that would have been a hard choice for the manager and the chief executives at the clubs to make that decision. He was the one that had to go for a financial fair play. But if you look at the two players he's brought in, we're with 50 million as well. It's not a bad deal. And mm. it's allowed us to go and get Anana, get Matson as well. So, yes, it's going to be a shame seeing him playing at Juventus because he's an outstanding player. But like I said before, mate, Villa fans in Unai Emery, we trust. Yeah, indeed. Anana has come in. Um, big money. Anana, still very, very young. 
but experience is, is bit, feels like he's been around for a few years, but he's only 22. Yeah, I know. What does he bring in because he's very different to Douglas Louise? Yeah, I think what he will look at as well is you know the injury to Kamara that mm. affected us, you know, because he's that defensive midfielder, get on the ball, get the ball back. And um, Anana's totally different to Douglas Louise, total different sort of midfielder. Anana's going to be that midfielder, and I was looking after to watch him at the Euros as well. He's just in there, mate. Solid yeah. as a rock. Yeah. Try and get past me if you dare. Good luck. Yeah, you're going down with an injury. You're going down with a blow to the face. You're not getting past me in there. And I can play. Mm. I'm not just like a big um, defensive midfielder in, in that position. I can get the ball. I can play. I can make it tick. You know, he can he can get forward as well. He's, he's strong at running with the ball. And he's only 22. We forget that sometimes because we feel like he's been at Everton for five, six years. He's been yeah. at Everton for two years. Yeah. 17 games for Belgium, still learning his trade. He's going to get better and better. And playing with a manager, no offence to Sean Dyche, done very well for Everton. But going from Sean Dyche to a manager like Unai Emery, it's going to get so much Even more out just, of his game. Even just, again, no disrespect to Sean Dyche, no disrespect yep. to Everton, but just the quality of players oh, 100%. now. 100%. going to be playing And around. as well, you're not yeah. guaranteed to start. No. They're not guaranteed to start. Like, mm. if you look at that midfield options now that um, we've got, you've got Kamara, yeah. you've got Onana, you've got Tielemans, you've got Barkley, who was outstanding last season. And you've got this name as well, which um, don't laugh at me when you're saying give it, it. Give it a go, give it a go. Baron, Baron Achia. Close. Is that close? What, what would you say? Is it? No, I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, we've got options in that centre midfield. We're not yeah. even talking about McGinn. Yeah. McGinn as well, you might go further forward. You've got Brendia coming back from a bad injury. On the um, left hand side, you've got Rogers, you've got Philogene Ramsey on that left hand side, you've got Samuel Illing, Illing Jr., Leon Bailey off the right, Archer's been brought back as well with Watkins up front, Matson um, at left back, he's going to be an attacking left back as well. So this could be some games, Addy, where you say, you know what, we're going to keep, we're going to stick Anana and Kamara in there because we know they both like to sit. Mm. Matson, you carry on forward. We've got, we've, got, we've got players back they are going to sit Anana and Kamara you don't go forward all there's going to be games where you mix and match Champions League and Premier League and you say you know what Anana you're not starting today because Tielemans has been outstanding because he was outstanding second half of last season Tielemans the, the one big problem there though is Ollie Watkins isn't he and look, for everyone I guess you've got that one figurehead up front Ollie Watkins oh, yeah. is your goal scorer even you just a bit of breath there mm. if Ollie Watkins doesn't play where's the goals coming from in terms of through the middle well, we have got Duran, but there's talk that Duran's going to be going. Um, I'm not sure. Um, he's got a future at Aston Villa. Archer's a very good player. Yeah, you know, yeah, very yeah, good yeah. player as well. Fair. But I agree, we need one more. Yeah, I would say we need one more centre half because we've got Conza who might play right back because Matty Cash was out of favour. Diego Carlos and Torres are two centre halves. Mings, we don't know how long it's going to take sure him about Mings to get back yeah. from his injury. And even if he, he does, it's the bad one. Exactly, he might need time. So I say another centre half, and I agree, another striker, but we don't know what he's got ready you know the transfer mm. windows still open I'm sure we'll have options as well and they've done some really good business you know in the way they've sold players as well the RB he's one that you like you know what for me he was exciting when he first come did he live up to the expectations no he didn't the money was Leon not, Bailey was, mm. was better last season by far than the RB so if you're getting 60 million for him you can go go out and then maybe invest some of that as well. So it's an exciting season and I'm sure Aston Villa will hold their own in um, the Champions League especially the new format um, as a as one league table, and um, do we do I think we'll finish top four? No, I don't. Do I think we'll finish in the top seven? Yes, yes I do. So it's more 100%. European football. Hundred percent. Quick word on Ross Barkley. Obviously, he came in Luton Town Player of the Year. I think unlucky not to get a sniff at the England squad. Yes, he's coming as well. Um, he's a good addition. Premier League experience. Hundred percent, mate. And that's another one there. When you look at that midfield, no one's guaranteed starting. Mm. Well, I've named their midfielders: Al Kamara, Anana, Tielemans, Barkley, Baron Achia. No one's guaranteed to start out of them. So Barkley's probably been told by the manager, you know what, you're coming in, you're probably not going to start, you're gonna fight but for your place. fight for your place, show me the form that you showed for Luton. And Barkley, for me, has to play week in, week out. He's one of them players, mate, that well, I've noticed him throughout his career. He can't sit it out. No, he can't be coming on for 20. No, he, can't be, he can't be playing one game a month. He needs to be playing week in, week out. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.